Hey guys, what's up? Video Maker 180 here. Got another app review coming to you. Um, kind of a video response or um another well another app review. Um, today I'll be reviewing the app just released a few days ago by Illusion Labs. It is called Labyrinth 2. Now this is the um, predecessor to the original Labyrinth created by the same company, and this is kind of just some new refined and revamped features of the old one. So um. Here's the, um, let me turn this on, autofocus here, sorry about this, and I do apologize if I suck at the game, it's because I'm looking through this viewfinder of the camera and the other half because I suck at the game. Anyways, so here's the icon right here, just tap it to launch it, and it says um, loaded with new features because of the old, the previous labyrinth. Now if you want to get the, download the previous labyrinth, you can from the app store, it's still available for a um, little price of $2.99. And if you want to get this one, it will cost you um, $4.99 from iTunes. So here's the main menu of the screen. You see you have um, some different um, type of games you can play. You can do single player right here. Multiplayer, you can play against other people with iPods on your Wi-Fi network. Or you can download levels, so that's pretty cool. And then um, up here you have a few tabs, settings, our games, and create. And down here you have a marble that says e awards. Okay, so um, now I will be going up here to the settings tab. Now from the settings tab, um, since this game does make heavy use of the touchscreen and accelerometer of your iPod, you can um, calibrate the touchscreen, you can turn your sound effects on or off, and another cool feature that I haven't seen many apps um, have yet, it's kind of a new thing of the future, is, um, well not really a new thing of the future, but it's um, coming into more and more apps, is this iPod music. So you can play your i um your tunes on your iPod and while well, you're playing the game so um if you want to turn the sound effects on, on or off and then you can play your um iTunes music on your iPod so that's pretty nice and next up is our games these are just other games created by the same developer so you might want to check them out whatever and last up create um you can create your own levels of the game so that's pretty awesome um kind of a thing that many developers don't do. And then down here are your awards. Um, you get when you're playing the game, you can see all the awards down here that you've earned. So now, um, next up, you see the single player, multiplayer, and download levels. Single player I will just be playing to show you for the review of how the game works and um, some gameplay of it. Then you have multiplayer, like I mentioned before, you can play against people on your Wi-Fi network. And download levels, you can download levels that other people have, who play the game made, or additional lever, levels that you can download that the developer has made. So I'll just launch the single player right here. And from here you can see all the levels that they offer for you. You can even watch some tutorials that they have right here. Now when you um, see the levels here, they are rated from easy, medium, and hard. So it's pretty awesome that the icons tell you how hard or easy the level is. So I'll just play an easy one here since I suck the game. So I'll just launch it here. And you see it makes use of the accelerometer like so. And you can just, um, there we go. And so you can tilt the screen and it will um, move the marble. So then when you beat a level, it'll say congratulations, you've completed whatever level you completed. And then it'll give you your time. You can go to the main menu, play it again, or go to the next level. So I'll just go back to the main menu here. And that's about it, guys. Um, I really like the app. I think it's a great app. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace.